Brandy. Welcome to our virtual tutorial for Lessons 2 and 3 in Technology and Livelihood Education 6, ICT and Entrepreneurship. The purpose of this video presentation is to provide a remote learning experience for the learners of La Vizare Central Elementary School. The most essential learning competencies that you will learn from this video are buys and sells products based on needs, sells products based on needs and demands in school and community. We will talk about the things that we need to consider in buying and selling products based on the needs and demands of the school and community. At the end of the lessons, you must be able to produce a product that you are going to sell. Before we go on, I would like to present the simple products that you have produced for Lesson 1. Here they are. Congratulations for all the simple products that you produced. This time, let us look into the previous lesson by answering three questions. Are you ready? Here we go. Number one. It is something that is manufactured following a process or grown and nurtured in order to be sold for profit. What is it? A. Product. B. Need. C. Service. What is your answer? If your answer is letter A, good job, you are correct. Number 2. What can help you decide on what product you are going to sell? A. Your hobbies. B. Interests of your friends. C. Both A and B. What is your answer? If your answer is letter C, good job, you are correct. Number 3. How can you say that the product you produce is saleable? A. It is of best quality. B. It is needed by people. C. All of the above. What is your answer? If your answer is letter C, good job, you are correct. Congratulations for getting the correct answers. Now, let us talk about the new lesson. Number 1. Buying and selling products based on needs. And number 2. Selling products based on needs and demands in school and community. Let's start with the background information on buying and selling products based on needs. Needs are basic necessities of people, such as food, clothing, and shelter. People cannot survive without them. Nowadays, education and healthcare are part of the human needs. Wants are goods that people desire or wish to have. People can still live even without these products or services. Electronic products and entertainment industry fall under this category. Abraham Maslow is a well-known American psychologist. He proposed the different levels of needs of human beings. The basic needs of men are food, clothing, and shelter. He called them basic because they pertain to survival, biological, and physiological needs of people, things needed in order to live. According to Abraham Maslow, there are five levels of needs. Physiological needs, or basic needs, are things needed to survive, such as food, water, air, sleep, clothing, and shelter. Security needs, or safety needs, are also important for survival but not as demanding as basic needs. Examples of this are employment, healthcare, and safe home. Social needs include the need for belonging, love, affection, friendship, attachments, and families. Esteem needs include personal worth, 
social recognition and accomplishments. Self-actualization or self-fulfillment needs are personal awareness and have less concern with opinions of others. Once the need of a person is satisfied, he or she moves to the next level. The knowledge of the needs of people helps entrepreneurs market their products and services. Products and services are bought because they satisfy the needs and wants of the customers. A product is something that is manufactured following a process or grown and nurtured in order to be sold for a profit. A service is a facility supplying a public or market demand. Some examples are hair salons offering hair care and hair styling services, bus companies offering transport services, and spas and wellness centers offering messages, skin care treatments, and the like. Another thing that you need to consider in selling products is demand. Demand is the amount of interest to a given product that consumers are willing to buy at a given price at a given period. It is a step ahead of wants. Entrepreneurs sell products of high demand. Many people have the interest to buy the product. Buyers are persons who agree to purchase the finished products and services presented with the prescribed or correct features. Sellers are persons who offer things to buyers in return of something which is most of the time is money. Sellers could offer products in the school and the community based on existing needs and demands. The following products have high demand in school and community. Bottled water is one of the most intimate products in school and community that can provide a solution to the need. Used clothing, commonly called as okay okay, offers imported products and sometimes overruns sold at lower price. Foods such as delicacies, puto, fish, and others can be sold the whole day. Among the products that are always in demand are food items. Baked products such as pandesal, insaimada, bread loaf, cakes, and other pastries are equally saleable. Congratulations! We have just discussed selling products based on needs and demands in the school and community. It is now time to test our understanding by doing the following activities found in your learning activity sheet. Are you ready? If you do not have yet a copy of the activity sheet, you can download it in the description portion of this video. Activity 1. Crossword Puzzle You are going to read and understand the hints carefully. Fill out the crossword puzzle with your answers either across or down. There must be one letter in every box. For example, number one across. A facility supplying a public or market demand. The answer is service. Activity 2. Classifying needs and wants. As we experience COVID-19 pandemic, classify whether the following products and services are needs or wants. Write your answers in the blank. For example, number one, nutritious food. If you think this is a need, you write the word need before the number. Activity 3. Buy me. Check the column for yes if the business offers products that the school or the community needs to buy in times of COVID-19 pandemic. Check the column for no if it is not. For example, a restaurant that offers food for takeout. If your answer is yes, check the column for yes. If your answer is no, check the column for no. Activity 4. Product for Sale Think of a simple and inexpensive product that you can sell at home or in the neighborhood. The product must be based on the needs and demands of the school and community. You can buy and sell a product. Remember 
you do not need to go out of your homes to sell. You can sell the product within your immediate family. You can do it online as well. The product can be homeschooling materials such as paper, pen, and pencil. It can also be simple snacks just like crackers, kakanin, or water or other simple and inexpensive products of your own choice. For our assessment, you are going to answer a 5-item multiple choice test. You are going to read and understand the questions carefully. Write the letter of your answers in the blank before each item. After doing the activities, it is time to reflect on your own learning. Check the column for thumbs up if you can do the statements. Check the column for thumbs down if you think you still need to improve. For example, the first statement is, I can describe needs, wants, and demands. If you think you can do this, put a check on the column for thumbs up. If you think you still need to improve, put a check on the column for thumbs down. Congratulations for finishing this lesson. Hope you enjoy learning with me. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Ring the notification bell so that you keep yourself updated with the tutorial videos. See you in the next virtual tutorial.